Fast, accurate, and every day. First Defense Weather. Happy Monday and happy Valentine's Day to you. And boy, it was a cold start to this Monday, wasn't it? Two here in town, zero in Warren. How about two below in Randolph, five below in Clymer, four below in Fredonia. So it was a chilly st uh, start to the day, but I can tell you after we get through tonight, we'll be done with at least some of this colder air for a little while and you'll see kind of what we mean here coming up but wanted to mention again we do have a shot of potentially putting us in the top five or at least the top 10 coldest valentine's day ever dating all the way back to 1895 that is when we started keeping uh, uh the uh, weather records here so again it's going to be a cold day but the next thing we're really keeping an eye on is we are going to see a significant warm-up as we go into the middle of the week here take a look at tomorrow 24 eh, that's below average but at least it'll feel better but look at Wednesday and Thursday, 48, 49. We're going to get close to this 50 degree mark, but Thursday is going to be the day we have to watch because we're going to see a deep storm system come in that's, that's also going to produce widespread rain showers through the day on Thursday. Along with this warmth, there could be some potential flooding issues around here by the time we go into Thursday. Now, this is the rainfall outlook or... If you want to be more technical, this is the NOAA QPF or quantitative precipitation forecast. And uh, this goes all the way through Thursday. So we're looking at a good one to one and a quarter inches worth of rainfall through Thursday. Now, if this is correct and this verifies, this would not only cause melt of the snowpack, but also with this adjunct of the rainfall, could add to the flooding potential. So that is something we are going to watch as we go throughout the week. And the weather service is hinting that flood watches could be required by the time we go into Thursday. So something we'll keep you updated on through the week here. But uh, we do have a chance for at least a few light snow showers through the afternoon today. These are very light uh, snow showers to almost flurries. And if the snow showers do accumulate, less than an inch will be the case throughout the day today. We will see at least a few more snow showers through the overnight hours, partly to mostly cloudy. Then as we go through Tuesday afternoon, the clouds start to break apart. We should go partly to mostly sunny for at least much of the afternoon on Tuesday. Then we start to see the clouds return a little bit as we go into Wednesday. But Wednesday will be the better day because Thursday, that's when the rain comes. So quite cold for this Valentine's Day. A few scattered snow showers through the afternoon. Again, less than one inch of accumulation, if anything. 11 on the hills to 18 at the immediate Lake Erie shoreline. And that northwest wind doesn't really make you feel that much better. Partly to mostly cloudy tonight. Scattered light snow showers, but cold. Three in the deepest valleys. Don't be shocked if some spots go around zero by uh, tomorrow morning to 14 at the immediate Lake Erie shoreline. But the winds do start to shift to the south to southwest. So Ultimate Satellite Solutions 7 day, the uh, sunshine returns in the afternoon tomorrow, 24. There's your pick day. It's going to be Wednesday, 48, but it does turn windy through the day as well. We are thinking it will stay below wind advisory criteria at this moment. Then Thursday will be the day we have to watch with steady rain showers and very warm, likely a chance for some flooding there. But then it goes back to cold air for Friday and Saturday and the temperatures moderate by the time we go into Sunday.